Definitely go subscribe to Quick Play. They're awesome, man. Hello everyone, my name is Cody, the guy you see on screen is Eli, and today we are servicing our coin pushers. Um, I get a lot of questions about these, how they work, how you set them up, and, and today we're going to make a video on that. But before we get into that, I want to thank you guys so, so much. 700 subscribers is absolutely crazy. We're going for a thousand, so whenever we get that, we're going to do at least a $150 giveaway. But let's get right back into this video. So we're opening the door to this coin pusher, and this is at a seafood restaurant, and it does really, really well, as you can see. did very, very nice. So yeah, uh, throughout this video, I'm going to kind of show you guys on ways that we set up our machine and uh, ways that we try to make a little more money doing it, such as trinkets like putting keychains with, with money attached to them. And 176.25, that's a very nice pull. Um, and here we are at our grocery store location. This is also the grocery store that had the attempted robbery on this machine. I'll put the video in the description box below. But I have a question for you guys. Have you ever won anything from a coin pusher? Or maybe you've never played a coin pusher before because they're illegal in your state? Um, what are your guys' uh, experiences with them? Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's pull out that big tub of money and look at that. Did very, very well. We were very happy with that. Dump it into the counter. Look at her go. 215.75. Now that's what I call a pull. That is a good pull. Now we're no strangers to walking into an empty change machine, so let's open this thing up and fill it full of quarters. Open her up inside and open up the magazine. And it did very, very well. That was a very busy change machine. Bunch of fives in there. Completely empty hopper. Let's go switch out our quarters for bills. Lay it out on the table. And all the quarters from the coin pusher. That's, I believe that was $90. I could be wrong. Turn off the change machine before you dump them into the hopper. Let's go ahead and dump them. Now, keep in mind, whenever we pulled all the quarters from the from the coin pusher, we then switch them with the with the bills that we got from the change machine. Thus, uh, thus switching out bills for for change. So. You don't have to bring a whole bunch of quarters with you to change your, or to fill up your change machine, rather. Turn it back on. Lock it up, and it doesn't have the little light shining, so that's when you know it's good to go. Now that we have that all cleaned up and looking good, let's move on to our next clip, which is us delivering our other new Silver Strike to... A gas station location I didn't mean to rhyme there gas station location and if any of you guys were wondering how much these coin pushers weigh they this one specifically weighs 200 pounds this is the silver strike deluxe so this is the coin pusher that has all the bells and whistles so we're gonna start setting this up uh, but first things first is wiping it down now I didn't include any footage of us cleaning the machine because I think that kind of stuff sort of gets repetitive if you guys want to see us clean the machines we certainly can um, I just didn't think it was very interesting material that uh, you guys would want to see but as you can see Eli is dumping in a whole bunch of quarters now that's about a hundred and seventy dollars worth in quarters and that's uh, and that's a little too much too. We actually still brought some home with us. So I think we used about maybe 130. Um, 
Now, coin pushers can vary from size to size depending on which model you get um, in between uh, unique vending concepts and uh, McGregor. All these things can vary on how much, how many quarters it can hold on its field. But yeah, on this one specifically, it was about about it was about one hundred and thirty dollars, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, Eli's putting them at the top and bottom. The bottom is pretty thick, and, and he even dumped out the rest of them. He'll end up uh, pulling up quite a bit more, but just to kind of get a good feel of uh, filling up the machine, because nobody wants to play an empty machine. You know, um, whenever you walk up to one of these things, you want to see stuff about to fall off the edge quarters that are about to fall off the edge so that's really important but if you look down here this is how we actually get paid this is how we make money there's these little slots and i think i get a little bit of a better shot you see that right there see quarters fall through there and that's where we get paid so whenever whenever a player puts a quarter in it'll drop and push quarters into that hole uh thus we get paid and so does the owner of the store because we do do a split um from it, it varies from location to location and i'm not too sure which uh which it is on this on this spot specifically but yeah um anyways guys it's time for the it's time for the draw so we're gonna use this website that picks a random comment and the first winner is let's press start and the first winner is Clawmaster360, congratulations Clawmaster360, uh, we'll be sending out that prize to you, and good job. Let's see who wins next. Garrett Wilcox, congratulations Garrett, uh, we'll send that out to you, we'll send you a message on YouTube, and hope to hear from you. Let's see who wins next. Clawzilla, alright Clawzilla, great job man. Uh, we'll be messaging you and hope to hear back. Thank you so much. And for our final winner, Larry Bivens. Bivens? Anyway, congratulations, congratulations, Larry. Uh, you, you're a winner, so we will be messaging you. So congratulations to all the winners. Thank you guys so much for watching. The total for today was $392. So we had a great, great pool today. We're also doing really, really well on YouTube. 700 plus subscribers now. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. We like to make videos like this all the time. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.